Elizabeth Skachova, and I'm here with VCon's Director of Public Health, Dennis Payton, Jr. And today we're talking about the growing relationship uh, between public health and the maritime sector and how its importance has grown ever since the beginning of the pandemic. Dennis brings 15 years of public health and epidemiologic experience, the last seven in the maritime industry itself. Dennis, it's great to have this time with you. And the cruise industry has faced unprecedented challenges. To combat these challenges, what is VCON recommended to its clients to safely re-enter the cruise industry? Thank you, Nick, and it's a pleasure to be talking with you about this topic. I think first we should frame up what public health is. And to me, uh, public health is what we as a society do collectively to assure conditions under which people can be healthy. So with that mission, uh, vision. VCON is a, a global leader in, in maritime provision of medical and public health services. What we do is, is about effective public health uh, and moving toward a collective uh, desired destination, which is preventing illness from occurring, mitigating any secondary transmission, and uh, lastly, provision of robust health care to those that unfortunately may become unwell throughout their journey. But I believe uh, for too long we've the systemic focus uh, has really been on care instead of the health part of this this health care uh, moniker, which to me makes sense. You're unwell. We, we should care for you. But what we're doing now in public health and what we've always tried to educate the public about is what if we change that to uh, you're not unwell, and let's keep you that way. And our health screening programs, uh, along with uh, the numbers of people, we're measuring health instead of disease. And I think that is the ultimate objective that we're aiming towards with our uh, non-pharmaceutical and, and medical uh, interventions at both VCOND and, and throughout the world is, is educating individuals that we should focus on that health part more so than the care part, uh, and, and really primarily preventing illness from occurring. As a thought leader in the industry, how do you see the future of the maritime sector in terms of public health? And do you really see it as a, a growing priority for well-being for guests and crew? Absolutely. I think it's always been a, a priority. And really the greatest strength of public health is its singular focus on maximizing health uh, so that society can achieve our most cherished values, such as travel and leisure, uh, trade uh, through maritime, uh, ensuring individuals are happy, healthy, productive, uh, empowered, uh, and reducing disparities and access to care. From our perspective at VCON, public health programs throughout maritime uh, and remote medical and, and public health provision of services, uh, those programs succeed and even thrive if organizations address six key areas from my perspective. And that includes innovation to develop an evidence base, uh, technical packages that are filled with impactful interventions, uh, effective performance management through ensuring that these policies and procedures that we're implementing now are robust uh, and implemented comprehensively and uh, routinely partnerships and coalitions with a sh collective and shared vision uh, towards this uh, public health and communication of accurate information to partners, whether that be stakeholders throughout an organization, as well as communities and health authorities, sharing open, honest, transparent information uh, on illnesses to, to collaborate uh, and to work through uh, contingency planning where necessary. And then lastly, uh, commitment to obtain resources and support for uh, a continued and effective action. So willingness to, to change that action with, with new information and evolve that and support it. People often mistake progress for perfection. They spend more time staring at the weeds than they do assessing the forest. So instead of getting lost in the, the details, we should really be asking ourselves whether the work in maritime public health and public health in general uh, around the globe is collectively moving us towards the right direction. And I think if we reflect back on January 1st, uh, 2020, uh, when little was known about 
the coronavirus? I think universally and unequivocally, we would say yes, uh, that we're collectively moving towards a uh, strong uh, and collective direction to ensure public health in the maritime industry, uh, particularly has been a global leader uh, in driving that direction. Thank you for your time today, Dennis. This is really fascinating stuff. Um, you really are a trailblazer. You've added some real clarity about the growing and developing relationship between public health and the maritime sector. Thank you very much. Thank you, Nick. Okay.